revolution, particularly its new and evolutionary phase, initiated practical steps towards great political, economic, and cultural transformations in our society. Democratic land and water reforms are carried out with the participation of broad masses of the peasants. More than 350,000 peasant families have received over 689,000 hectares of land during the post-revolutionary years. This process is still continuing in the country. In addition, ample assistance has been rendered by the state to the peasant through distribution of improved teeth and chemical fertilizers in supply of agricultural equipment and machineries. Right now, agricultural mechanized stations have been set up and are practically active in the capitals of the main provinces of the country, which are expanding by every passing day. After the revolution, for the first time, the solution of water problem and its utilization was considered in a democratic manner in the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. The state took practical and comprehensive steps towards the solution of the water problem by working out legal norms and regulations. Right now, more than 100 different development projects are under construction in the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, of which we can cite the following as examples. The project of petroleum and sugar transport, as well as the project of technical services station of Dashti Chamtala. The production of power energy have been doubled compared with that of the period prior to the revolution. The construction work of the people's residential complexes has been continuing in the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan with all its dimensions. In the course of post-revolutionary years, more than 5,000 residential apartments have been distributed to the eligible families. The revolution introduced a new political system in the political and social structure of our society. And this system, in addition to its state organs, the National Fatherland Front was set up as a base of the political power of the working people and the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. The National Fatherland Front united in a short period of time all political, social, cultural and economic organizations in the country. It goes without saying that such a system is indicative of the fact that the people of Afghanistan are practically ruling their country themselves. The new system has provided a practical ground for the realization of the values of the main instrument of human rights, particularly the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights and the International Convention on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights in our country. The Militant Women's Democratic Organization of Afghanistan, the organization which is struggling side by side with the Afghan men against the backwardness and inequality. This organization, with its 40,000 members, is taking active part in the political, economic and social life of the country. The right of women to work in the various productive and cultural fields, the right which the history of our country has seen in the past, no records of, has been guaranteed by the party and the revolutionary state of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Giving new life uh, to the woman, the revolution provided the ground for the all-sided participation of the woman in all walks of the society. The question of illiteracy. Illiteracy was a nationwide problem in our society, especially among the women before the revolution. The Revolutionary Council of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, by issuing a decree, provided all-rounded facilities towards this end in the cities, townships, and villages of the country. Right now, figures and statistics show that more than one million persons have become literate in our country.
belief and faith, the issue which belongs to the conscience of human being, the secret religion of Islam, the faith of the people of Afghanistan, the respect, observance and preservation of which have been guaranteed in the article theft of the fundamental principles of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. And this connection too, the counter-revolutionaries and their masters have adopted a criminal approach by distorting the freedom of conscience and the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. But on the contrary, the state of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan has repaired 527 mosques throughout the country and constructed more than 50 new mosques only in the Kabul city during the years of the revolution. Providing of all facilities for the performance of religious ceremonies and rituals and the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan is indicative to the fact that the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan's state is acting on the basis of its valid and credible documents. All religious sects have the right to freely perform their religious rituals and ceremonies. Parallel to the constructive work of the revolution, despite the plots and conspiracies, crimes and terrors on the part of the counter-revolutionaries, the cities, villages, and rural areas of the country are full of vigor and enthusiasm for fulfilling the noble aspirations of the revolution. But a bit of the United States of America are carried out with the help of the CIA agents. Patrick Sales, a Pakistani citizen, confessing to his membership in the U.S. infernal CIA organization, is responsible for many inhumane deeds that he has committed against our people. Orgit Uzla, Turkish citizen, another agent of the CIA organization. Inayatullah, a Pakistani by nationality, who has also confessed to his membership in the CIA organization. The U.S. criminal group of Charles Trenton, a group which documents seized by the security forces, clearly shows that they were the one who had shot down the civilian Bakht airliner, resulting in the murder of 52 passengers on board. A question arises that where and what type of legal provisions the commitment of such crimes are permissible and who can defend them. Nazir Khan and Wahid Shah, Pakistani citizens who are also members of CIA organizations bearing the responsibility of numerous crimes against our innocent people. But despite the savage and inhumane crime being committed by the enemies, the people are heroically taking part in the renovation of their homeland and defend their revolutionary achievements. <laughs>